Hello, welcome to the screencast Open Telemetry Based Distributed Tracing for WSO2 Micro Integrator. I am Sinduran, an Associate Technical Lead at WSO2. Distributed tracing is one of the three pillars of observability. With distributed tracing, we can observe requests that go through multiple services. When it comes to WSO2 Micro Integrator, Tracing can be used to observe message flows in order to identify possible bottlenecks and troubleshoot or debug them later. Microintegrator uses Synapse artifacts containing mediators, so when it comes to tracing, we look at spans in terms of mediators. Open Telemetry is a vendor neutral specification for instrumentation and it is a combination of open tracing and open sensors. We supported open tracing in previous versions of MI and with this release it has been replaced with open telemetry. Open telemetry protocol or OTLP is supported by most APMs like New Relic and Elastic so we don't have to rewrite any vendor specific publishers. WSO2 micro integrator supports publishing tracing data using open telemetry in multiple ways. Those are Jaeger, Zipkin, Log, OTLP, and Custom Tracer. When it comes to Jaeger and Zipkin, you maintain your own Jaeger or Zipkin deployment, configure the host and port in Microintegrator's deployment terminal, and get the tracers published to your own deployment. We supported these in the previous versions of MI as well, where we supported open tracing. OTLP Tracer is a new addition. In this, you can publish tracing data to APMs that support OTLP like New Relic or Elastic. Most APMs have added support for OTLP. You need to obtain something like an API key from the APM, point to the APM's URL and WSO2MI can publish to that APM. Block Tracer is another new addition. In this, instead of visualizing the spans, you get the information related to tracers in logs. Custom Tracer is a new addition as well. With a Custom Tracer, you can publish tracers to anything other than the previously mentioned ways. For example, putting span information to a database table. You can write a Custom Tracer by implementing the span exporter and the Open Telemetry Manager. The Log Tracer has been actually implemented as a Custom Tracer where we log span information in JSON format using a standard logging framework. Now let's see a demonstration. We have got a simple API deployed to WSO2 to micro integrator. I have already started an instance of MI and a backend used by this API. We are going to publish traces using the OTLP tracer to New Relic. This is how I have configured the API key obtained from New Relic along with the URL. Let's go to Postman and invoke our API. The API has returned us a response. Now we'll go to New Relic and see our trace. When we click on APM and Services, we can see WSO2 Synapse, which is the default name used by MI when publishing traces. Let's click on that and go to Distributed Tracing. We can see our trace group here. Let's click on that as well. Upon clicking this, we can see the spans that have been reported by MI. We can also see the attributes of spans such as the component name and transport headers. We hope you enjoyed the screencast. Stay tuned with WSO2 for more content like this. Thank you.